Revelation this afternoon for just a second. Revelation chapter 2 again. And then also 1 Corinthians chapter 11 are verses that we always use. Uh, I like those. Again, in Revelation 11, I'm sorry, in uh, 1 Corinthians 11, we'll find, we find there the words that Christ spoke, uh, the same that he spoke in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Uh, Paul adds a little bit more. I've said that almost, almost all of our church doctrine, everything that we believe about it as a church, we get from what Paul wrote. Uh, they, they are called the church epistles for a reason. Um, most of our doctrine, almost all, almost all of our doctrine we get from the 13 books that Paul wrote. Um, and we read in 1 Corinthians 11, you may remain seated, of course, these words that are very familiar. For I received, Paul said, I got this from the Lord. You remember we, we read that in Sunday school this morning about the, about the coming of Christ. Paul said, for I have received of the Lord. I, I got this from God, that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as ye drink it in remembrance of me. And then Paul adds these words in verse 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he come. Then in Revelation chapter 2, in chapter 2, in verse 10, we read this morning, but I want to read also another verse from chapter 2 of Revelation. Fear none of those things which shall, thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Again, I said that most people think that symbolizes ten, ten periods of time uh, under Roman rule of great persecution. But notice then what it says. Be thou faithful. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give unto thee a crown of life. Then jump down, if you would, to verse 13. I know thy works... And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days, where an Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. Notice what it says about Antipas. He was faithful. And then what we read in verse 10, God encourages us, Christ encourages us this, be thou faithful, just faithful. Father, thank you again for your word today. Encourage us by it, we ask in Jesus' name, amen and amen. When we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 about uh, the Lord's table, uh, Paul said the last thing that I mentioned, for as often as you eat this bread and, do, and drink this cup, for as often as you do it, as often as you do it, you know what we're trying to be? What we're trying to be is what God encouraged the church at Smyrna to be. Be faithful. Be faithful uh, in these things. I'm convinced of this. I, by Scripture, I am convinced of this. That when you and I stand before Christ, that when we stand at the judgment seat, at the reward seat, um, we're not necessarily going to be judged on the amount of talent we had, although I do think that we will be judged somewhat on that, but we will be judged on, the, on this. Have we been faithful, faithful to the opportunity that we have been given? Now, all of us have opportunity. Everybody has opportunity. And you can look at it in any different number of areas. You can, be, you can be faithful as a son or a daughter. You can be faithful as a husband or as a wife. Uh, you can be faithful in, in the matter of raising your children uh, uh, the right way. Uh, you can be faithful as a member of, of a church. Now, you can be faithful as uh, uh, doing your Christian service, whatever it is. Faithful in your Bible reading. Just faithful in that thing. You know, the, the Satan, Satan comes to us, and uh, he's all the time, all the time after us. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you this, and I think you know the answer to this. 
How, how long was Israel in the wilderness? How long were they in the wilderness? How long? 40 years. 40 years. 40. 40. How long was Jesus tempted of the devil? 40 days. 40 days. After 40 days, what did the devil do? Left him for a while. Left him for a while. People say, you know, preacher, I, I have problems. And everybody's problems. Satan attacks. He says, well, I'm not going to be faithful. I, I passed someone yesterday that at one time was quite faithful in church. Not anymore. They can't even get him to darken the door of a church anymore. Be faithful. Well, what if Satan attacks? Look, Jesus withstood the devil for 40 days. I think there's a principle there. I think there's a principle in that 40. They wandered for 40 years, and then everybody that was a murmur, complainer, backbiter, that was over 18 years of age, all died. 40 days, Jesus withstood the devil, and then the devil left. Well, I don't know that I can be faithful. Be faithful for 40 days. Satan is attacking you in some way. Be faithful for 40 days. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. 40 days with Scripture. Jesus didn't withstand him in his own power. He withstood him in the power of the word of God. Be faithful. Be faithful. How was that Antipas was his faithful martyr? Uh, be thou faithful. Be thou faithful. God expects us and wants us to be faithful. And when you and I stand at the judgment seat of Christ one day, we'll not be judged on the quantity, but the quality of our faithfulness to the opportunity that we've been given. He'll look at us. Well done, thou good and servant. Be faithful. We try to be faithful every month in the Lord's table. Be faithful in that. Be faithful. He said, and I will be faithful unto death. Now, that may mean a martyr's death. It may. But on the other hand, God may be encouraging us just be faithful until the time for you to leave this world comes. Just be faithful. You know, God gives a crown for people who are just faithful. There are five crowns that God gives. And one of those crowns is this. Just be faithful. You may not be a great Sunday school teacher. You may not be a preacher. You may not be a great singer. You may not be a great piano player. You may not be a great at anything. But there's everything. There's something that everybody can be. And that is faithful. Just be faithful. And those little things. He doesn't ask us to be great. Just to be faithful in the little things of life. And I will give unto thee a crown of life. Lord, we thank you again. And Lord, here we are at this table one more time. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity. Lord, to be faithful in the matter of the Lord's table. Lord, just to be faithful. Lord, I, I, I know, I don't believe it, I know it. That you give rewards for faithfulness. And Lord, we thank you again. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for this table that we're about to partake of and that Jesus was faithful, faithful to, his, to you and to the heavenly command. Oh, Lord, that he was faithful for us. May we be faithful to him. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.